please, politician. Maybe it's time to start afresh. 113, take one. I think Tim's having a fit right now, isn't he? I am. Tell him a double fit. Hissy fit. And we love you. We miss you, Doug. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, serial justice for, for serially being late. But it's just only fair. Don't pick on Doug, will you? No, okay. But I will. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? Oh. Hey. Nice one. In the house. Um, so he, what is he? Five minutes away. Five minutes away. Right. I okay. can tell him where to park. I so we need well, lots of he'll panic. Yeah, we need lots of hands downstairs in five minutes. Hello, Doug. Hello. 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 Welcome. Good to see you. Yes. Good to see you. Um, so the most important things are the backdrop and the blackouts. Is that not the neatest gaffer you've ever seen? <laughs> uh, I think part of the thing that's wrong with politics is the media. Actually, um, the media is very negative. As, um, as an organisation anyway, so when they're reporting on politics they're very negative about it and that feeds into our, our perceptions of it. In your opinion, what's wrong with Parliament? What's right with it? Oh, well, There's probably quite a lot of politicians that are trying their best um, for the good of the people they represent. But unfortunately, that gets um, diluted somewhat. Yeah, I think it's all about the, the disconnection. You know, we see the politicians, they seem to be um, living in a different, a different stratosphere to most of us. And uh, we just want them to know what it's like to, to be real and to start taking on some of the issues that, you know, we know about and we want something done about. And to see them being honest. Maybe it's time to start afresh. There are 15 or 20 actors all playing the same character. So it's not like a film in the sense that it's, you know, there's three or four different characters all vibing off each other. The whole thing is about, it's a monologue to camera. Getting ready for please, politician, a plea and a pledge to the, the well, candidates rather than politicians, to everyone that's putting themselves forward to be a member of parliament or get involved in any kind of politics within the United Kingdom. Um, and this is the auto cue because although we do have actors coming in who will of course learn their lines uh, and practice their delivery, um, we also have a lot of members of the general public and I'm guessing not all of them will have learnt the lines or even know to, to, to find the script so um, we're going to have an auto cue set up here um, so that they can just read it um, and the clever thing is with an auto cue is if it's done properly and set up properly it shouldn't look like they're reading they should just be staring straight into the camera. I need you to restore my faith in politics. I think this script uh, has got it pretty spot on, which is about politicians engaging with the people they're representing and actually thinking about people rather than thinking about their careers and what they're doing. And forget, there's a million like me for every ten of you. A lot of voters have lost trust with Parliament, so that heavy fits quite heavily in the feature in the script. Um, and uh, whether it's finances in the way of expenses or working other jobs, but then again, like they say, if they do work other jobs, at least they understand business or, or the real world. Um, if they just do politics, do they really understand everything else? It's perfect. One of those catch 22s, but it's about. We all understand there has to be compromise, but not promising things you can't deliver, and that sort of thing. So we cover all of those topics, and those are things I, I feel are potentially issues. Then look at the gap. The gap between the rich and the poor. The haves and the haves not. It's horrendous. I think they don't understand how poorer people live. And I think it's very unfair to blame poorer people for the mess. All right, for rouge, make up. Two rouges with chips, please. <laughs> I think it's all a little bit lost, really. I, it, I've forgotten something. iPhone 4 charge cable, okay, we've got one. Um, so, my mum's just got back from Australia, bless her, so she might be asleep, but if you can go... <laughs> this is going to be awful. 72-year-old being woken up by a strange black man. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to see that! I think we should send a camera with six <laughs> yeah. to film this. <laughs> so, upstairs in my bedroom, on the far side of my bed, excuse the mess, um, there's an iPhone 4 charger plugged into the wall. It's got a nice long cable. Um, if you could go and grab that for me, I'd be very grateful. Um, there's my front door key, but do knock and say, Hello, Mrs. C. I when will. you go through the door, it zeeks. They're too close to the corporates and the media. Business and the media. They are running the show. And that's not right. What I think at the moment is, People are getting the, 
the idea and the, the no knowledge that politicians have power because it's given to them by the people and I think sometimes the politicians need a reminder of that. I think politicians should do their job which they're not doing at the moment, they should just take care of people and make the country run smoothly. Can we make things better between us? There's a general feeling that um, they do get away with murder, not literally murder, but <laughs> robbing people. Mm -hmm. And that's wrong. Then look at poverty and ill health. How come people on low income die? You heard me die on average six years before people not on low income. It's not right. Let's sort it. Let's ask the politicians to get their act together. Can you promise only what can we do? Can we make things better between us? I got involved because I know Doug. Mm -hmm. We've done some filming together, and I know Rhee also. It's quite exciting, I've never done all of you. I think Parliament's lost political trust. And I think many people think that. And I hope that this piece that we're doing will allow everyone in the country to express a sense of their concern about faith in, in politics and Parliament. Okay, it's apolitical, yeah. but it's about yeah. politics. Yeah. So we're not going to mention any political party because no, it's not that kind of thing. We want them to listen, 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 and then the act as if they have. The actual, the actual That's what they need to the public. To listen to their voters. If you're open to it, I've got a few ideas. The idea behind the emotional or energy flow of the script is just simply to do to start off fairly neutrally and have a high, a low, a high, and an intense, a slightly more intense finish. If we could just get everyone outside. We want to have this feeling of having followed her up the stairs, so you are actually going to move with her. Okay. okay? Now the trick is, you've got to get over this, this set of steps. This is going to be tricky. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a roof shot, but I'm actually in this one, so I'll be jumping to and fro. And I also have to make sure that we don't get any overlap where we're mapping people in blocks because we don't have all 50 people here at once, so we're doing different sections. Um, and hopefully the post production guys can just sort out the fact that the clouds have moved. I might need a camera. Yeah, a camera would be good. If in doubt, take the camera with you. We'd like to get Zeke's on, wouldn't we? Yeah. We would. You want to see Zeke's, don't you? Yeah, I thought you did. <laughs> I need you to restore my faith. Politics. My name's Colin, and I'm here to read some of the scripts. <laughs> I'm Noah, I'm the script supervisor. Hi, I'm George from Swindon. I'm Paul Dawkins. I'm here today for the uh, police politician. Uh, I've got the script here. Absolutely fascinating when I first heard the idea of it and uh, I just want to be part of it, especially because it's uh, a non-specifically, it's not party specific, but it's definitely yes. saying how a lot of people feel about politics these days. I was 64 last birthday. In my lifetime, they've had us over a barrel. Financial institutions have had us over a bow. It is not right. Uh, my name is Dan, okay. and I'm the political yeah. reporter at BBC Wiltshire. The decisions they're making, there's been no improvement over the last five years. Something needs to change. I think one of the issues is that it doesn't... People don't feel connected to it. It doesn't feel like the real world. And basing that on the people I interview and the job that I do, there is a disconnect. Mm. It's not necessarily anybody's fault, mm. but I just don't think that ordinary people feel a personal connection to where those decisions are made. It's hand job time. Mm. I don't pretend to know how you solve that, but I think that that's a, a, real, uh, a, a real thing that, that is perhaps the cause of a lot of the feeling behind the sentiment mm. of people here today. No, I don't want the fuck to... <laughs> make her take it out! Right, I'm going to ask the impartial, no, objective, British Broadcasting Corporation is going to express it in my hair. I think you can get away with it. I didn't like the hesitation. I did not like that hesitation. If I just. You're going to make it go away. You don't have a natural party. He's waiting for it. Don't want one. Okay, we're done? Yeah, you're good. Thank you.
Brilliant. Um, this is my big moment. This is when I'm actually going to um, do the do. I'm going to read the script to camera. Yeah. Um, so it's my moment to shine coming out from behind camera. I'm hoping this project will help remind the politicians who they work for. I just hope viewers enjoy it and mm -hmm. they find it useful. They understand the message. But I mostly hope it's useful for politicians so that they well, listen to, to what we're saying here. So this yeah. video hopefully will do that sort of thing. <laughs> the best thing that can happen is, you know, they start taking a little bit more time to, to look at the community um, rather than themselves. This relationship is worth saving. I would like to see it actually reach people. If you reach people, then you'll reach the government and that's where it needs to go. It needs to, it's got a message and the message needs to be delivered. Because there is a general election coming up, um, the council and media, everyone has to be very, very careful about not showing favouritism or anything like that. So basically, um, although the script, we could, be pro could prove that and we were shown that, um, it was go we were going to have to get lawyers in to sign stuff off, it was going to get too expensive for the council they weren't going to charge us, they'd offered to pay, but we thought council money shouldn't really be going spending on things like this. So um, so we agreed to, to move outside, but it'd be very helpful with rehearsals. Um, it was just then that officers, civil servants and councillors, councillors uh, were, were sort of very worried about making sure that they were doing the right thing. So we agreed to, to find another venue and were saved by hacklings. I think a really positive day, a nice mixture of actually actors and real people as well. Mm. Age, gender, race, performance actually, mm. consistently across the, the piece was was superb. Yeah. Um, we're going to be delivering it to politicians. Yes, definitely. Direct to politicians um, via their tweet accounts, emails, those that we have them, and uh, all of their, their um, what do you call them? All their local offices. Their local offices. Yeah, their local offices. That would be yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but also to press, and we really hope that um, the voters who have strong feelings about uh, parliamentary trust will take up our, um, our piece, our film piece, and share it and perhaps build uh, a sense of um, a wish from the voter mm. to the politicians. Mm. Although initially we called it police, well it is called police politician, but then it was a plea to politicians. There is also that element of a pledge so that the voters understand, you know, we have a responsibility as well but the main thing is that the politicians do, um, because they're, as I say, it's, it's, it's 10 to a million, so. Mm. So okay. hopefully this piece brings it together. I think probably the single biggest challenge of all mm. was writing a script which was about parliament and democracy and voting, but never once embracing anything, any policy yeah. or issue that belonged mm. to one singular yeah. party. Yeah. And uh, trying to get uh, 40 or 50 people to contribute and accept uh, something that wasn't a compromise mm. but yet had to be politically neutral. Mm. I think that, that was the biggest challenge. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I mean, I think it, I think it stood up. I think so. Yes. I, th I think pro possibly for me it's been making sure that we get everyone through the different stages mm. um, and um, obviously outside you've got lighting differences. Um, and we're not working in um, real studios here. Mm. Um, you know, if you're in a if you're in a very expensive real television studio, each studio is soundproofed. Mm. You don't have to keep stopping work outside. Everyone on the set has to be quiet if they're not in front of camera. But outside, you often don't have to, to stop work and to mm. stop people talking. We've had to find people whispering and not just suddenly opening doors and crashing your venue. Um, Are you hey. ready for this? So it's been great, yeah. So both both uh, local film groups have been getting involved, um, and uh, and you're involved, and I'm involved, and I'm you're involved. involved yeah. yeah. Well, that's the main thing. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, so we're involved. Yeah. yeah. I'm involved more than you are. Though. Well, I'm not so sure about that. You know, I, I mean, the producer's job is to get a lot of the prep done, and you know, would we have heard from the BBC if I hadn't? I think there was a lot more involvement on my part. You think you know, so? Well, on reflection, I mean, if you look back at the footage from today, mm, really, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's your ego getting cameras. I don't have an ego. Never forget, there's a million of me for every ten of you. Do this, and I can trust Parliament. So, if we can hit the masses, if everyone can hear the message that we have to convey, 
then hopefully the ground will start picking up speed and we'll get somewhere. I need you to improve things for the many. I ask you to prioritise as well. In return, I will support you. I ask that you run the government efficiently, to our needs and within our means. This relationship is worth saving for me, for you, and for the people you represent. I need you to restore my faith in politics. Cut. That was stunning.